Hi, I'm Emily with Lake Lifter, and today I'm going to show you how to convert your push button style hydro hoist control box with a new, safer, faster DC powered motor. Make sure all power is disconnected from the control box. Remove the nuts from the cover. Remove the motor. Then disconnect the ethernet cable. Loosen the wire clamp and the hose clamp. And then remove your motor. Remove the two wires from the motor. Then detach the plate. To complete the next step, you'll need Lake Lifter's Hydro Hoist Conversion Kit. Remove the white wire from the board. Leave the black wire connected. Come all the way to the end and cut it. Find the end wire and cut it as short as possible. Find the L wire and cut it to a similar length as the ACL wire. Now strip the ends of the wire. Take the trigger switch wire from the control box and connect the two wires to the wires on the control board. Install the lake lifter blower motor and tighten the hose clamp. Attach the control board to the motor. Take the ethernet splitter cable, connect one to the power cord, one to the control box, and one to the control board. Reinstall the cover, and then attach the nuts. Now I'm going to show you how to connect your system. On your dock, everything will be connected inside of your battery box. But today, I'm going to show you how to connect everything on this table. You'll use two 12-volt batteries to make a 24-volt system. You'll take the jumper cable, connect negative on one battery to positive on the other. You'll take the power cable and connect red to positive and black to negative. Take the control board power cable, and it is very important that we connect it to just one battery. We'll connect red to positive and black to negative. Tighten all the connections. Before connecting anything, double check that your control board power cable is connected to only one battery, red to positive and black to negative. Connect the control board power cable. You should see a blue light come on and you can check the valves by pressing the button. Attach the trigger switch wire by aligning the arrows. Attach the motor cable. Attach the power cable. Make sure your fuse breaker is turned on, and then you can test it by pressing the raise button. Now you have fully converted your push button hydro hoist control box to safer, faster DC solar power. For further information on how to install our solar charging kit, please check out our other video. I'm Emily with Lake Lifter. Thanks for watching.